You have probably listened to white noise before, but let's talk about sound waves first. Any sound wave has a frequency, wavelength, and amplitude. Our ears can hear in a frequency range of 20 Hz up to 20,000 Hz. Now combine all frequencies that we can hear and make them the same amplitude, you will get white noise, which will result in a shh sound. The reason it is called white noise is because if you looked at white light, it is made up of all the different colors and you can see all these colors and separate them when you use a prism. So in the same way, white noise has all the different frequencies of audible sound. White noise also can be used to help you sleep. So if you are sleeping, any sudden noise around you will disrupt your sleep, like slamming a door. And since white noise contains all frequencies, it is used to mask other sounds. So any sudden changes will not have an effect on your sleep. Like if two people are talking, you can pay attention and detect what they are saying compared to a hundred people. So more noise is the solution to noise. Fans can create an approximation of white noise that can help mask other sounds. There are other colors of noise, like pink and brown. White noise amplitude or energy is equally distributed across all frequencies. In pink noise, the amplitude decreases by half every time the frequency doubles, so more intense low frequency tones and softer high frequency tones. Brown noise is the same as pink noise, but it decreases the amplitude even more, producing a low rumbling sound. And of course, black noise refers to a complete silence. Subscribe for more videos, turn on post notification, like the video if you do. Thanks for watching.